Welcome back to the channel, lads and ladies, and welcome to the glorious return of user replays. I've been really looking forward to this, so I'm very pleased to introduce, once again, a Wagner Valkyrie to the lineup, as it were. He is rolling out in the 6.3 battle rating STA-1, which is probably the superior of the ST tanks in the Japanese tree because it has access to a roof mounted 50 cal anti-aircraft gun that actually sees a bit of usefulness and gives it an advantage over the STA-2 which is lacking in that equipment. Uh, the STA-2 probably has slightly better frontal armor but neither one really has enough to account for anything. You don't even have enough to protect you from many SBAA, like the 40mm Bofors, having fellas, and other Soviet designs that you may encounter, featuring the 37. So, definitely not reliable frontal armor, but what you do have is a very decent gun at 6.3. Now, Valkyrie is going to be running the APHE, which has by far the better post-penetration damage. It's one of the best one-tap rounds in the game, and did that, did that shot seem a little derpy to you? It looked like it should have gone straight through the side of that T-34-85's turret, but it looks like the hit that was registered showed the turret as turned more than it appeared to be, and that probably comes down to server desync or server lag. So that's a pretty typical, um, what would you call it, uh, when you have two things, paradox, there we go, it's a pretty typical paradox, so it looks like the game's all messed up, but it's not necessarily, and that fast firing bush boy was actually an M22 Locust, what is that rank 2 tank doing at this battle rating? Who's to say? And Apologies today, uh, I am not feeling good, I have a horrible headache and uh, just a bit of nausea. I think I had too much caffeine last night, but uh, I'll try and do my best anyway. I've been really looking forward to making another video. I've been, as Wagner Valkyrie checks his corners, he actually bounced a shot off the turret there. And <laughs> M18, looked like there was another M18 up there as well as a Sherman, was it? Or was it an M25? Uh, call that an M22. <laughs> so the second Locust of the day goes down. And uh, ironically enough, that little 37 on the American light tank could punch through Wagner's armor. So he needs to be careful. Well... He needs to be aware of that, let's put it that way. <laughs> but already with, what is it, three kills, things are looking quite nice for him. Unfortunately, one of the bugs that was introduced with some changes to the replay system that were quite good uh, is that the replenishment of the first order ready rack, or first order ammo rack notification covers up the score and kill count on replay so that is something of an annoyance taking down that m36 i believe the 90 mil on the m10 chassis takes him down nicely and another kill no problems again you're seeing the great post pen potential of the APAG round available to the st series of tanks with that American 90mm cannon. Nice shot into the T-34-85's turret for yet another kill. You see he is racking them up now. Very exciting. And sorry, I should be more excited. I'm just not feeling very well today, so my apologies. And Valkyrie checking his target, ranging with the machine gun, and a beautiful pen of the angled upper plate of that IS-1. That is a shot that usually wouldn't go through, but because of the declination that IS-1 was resting on, the relative angle was almost flat, giving even 
the American 90 mil APHE <laughs> through the side of the Sherman. Kaboom! A chance to go through. Now, alternatively, you can research the heat FS round that has, I think it's 300 mils of penetration at all ranges, as a heat FS would have. And it is one of the better rounds as far as punching through armor, especially at a 6.3 battle rating. It really is a 7.0 round in most cases, but the trade-off is it's post-pen damage and its ability to cause collateral damage not so great. Aiming a bit too low, just a tad, on the M18, and he does not stick around for a second shot. Uh, you see that you can range fairly well with the 50 cal. The American 90 mil that you see mounted on the ST series of tanks has similar ballistics. Yeah, <laughs> you want a cookie? <laughs> uh, to the 50 cal. So out to around a kilometer, you can generally range with your machine gun if you have a 50 cal mounted on your tank. And the 90 mil has a bit more muzzle velocity and energy retention with most rounds than the 50 cal so you would aim just a bit lower than whatever you can hit with your roof mounted machine gun does that make sense and the reason i mentioned that is i was actually talking with uh wagner valkyrie on my discord server he's a very active and, and pleasant fellow on there and love all the people that come and hang out with me on the Discord. That really is my favorite place to connect with you guys. And I said, yeah, you could have had uh, you could have had a couple more kills if you'd aimed a little bit higher. And he said, yeah, I know. And also, he talked about some of his other regrets in this match. But those are actually going to be coming up into the future. For now, the rest of his team has caught up to where he is. What looks like... A couple of Tigers pushing toward the enemy spawn, and Valkyrie already very pleased with the number of kills that he's achieved. Very impressive work, holding the line as it were. You see that he's set himself up behind cover, he has good view of a wide range of the battlefield, and he's not exposed to enemy tanks, and that is one of the best defensive positions you can stick yourselves in. The best armor is map design, so let the rocks and the trees and the hills be your allies. Huzzah! And he actually did get a few hits on that P-47 in its first pass, and I wanted to comment on the way the pilot of that P-47 is flying what is presumably CAS, close air support, uh, with a heavy but powerful aircraft like the Thunderbolt. You really want to keep your speed up and not turn when it's not necessary. And this P-47 pilot is flying far, far too slow. A Wagner able to get a critical hit on him at this point, though that's not something you can see in the replay. I actually found that out by talking with him after the match. So again, I very much look forward to hosting you guys' replays. I would love to see more like this. I'm officially back to hosting them on the channel. And so what I really want to focus on now is user replays that you guys send in to me. And again, best place to drop those is on the Discord. As Valkyrie tries to get a kill here on the P-47, serious damage from that roof-mounted 50 cal. And again, that's a great opportunity as a duck flies in overhead. <laughs> it looked like he had the 75mm derp gun. That 50 cal on the roof is a great opportunity for the STA-1. Really gives you no reason to research the STA-2 anymore. And that's too bad because it's a neat little tank. And I definitely had issues with these tanks because they don't have the best mobility. They, the heat round doesn't, it, it doesn't tend to one shot things especially with the way ammunition seems to be working once again where certain ammo racks will just not explode even with a near direct or direct hit from things like heat or especially APDS but that APHE round 
that the STs have access to is fantastic, and at 6'3", it's very capable of punching through frontal armor of most of the things it faces. The problem is when you get into an up tier, and that's when you want to bring your Heat FS. Anyway, that's just about the end of the match for Wagner Valkyrie. 11 kills and what should have been at least an assist, but more likely a kill on that P-47, who it turned out ended up crashing, and that's an issue for another time. It seems like aircraft kills are not as easy to get credit for as they should be, but I'm sure that'll be addressed into the future. That's one of those things that comes and goes when they work on the kill assist system. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed that replay and I look forward to seeing more of those come in. Again, drop those on the Discord or you can message me and I can send you an email to send those to. Anyway, have a nice day. Catch you in the next video. Bye bye